This is video three, and we're talking about making PDF portfolios using Adobe Acrobat Pro. All right, this time you can see we've done several things already. We put in pictures and documents and PowerPoints and movies and things, and here's a folder that I drug in earlier. Now, the difference between this folder and what I'm going to do next is this folder I drug from my own documents. I drug the whole folder in. And I did that by adding an existing folder. Okay, But this time I'm going to create a new folder and then I'm going to put items from my computer in it. So for instance, if I click on create a new folder at the bottom, it then asks me what I want to name it and I'm going to call this one pictures. I'll click OK and you can see that it immediately puts that here in my space. So when I double click on it you can see I have nothing in here so far because all I've done is I've created a folder. So just like before it says I can drag files or even folders here into this area. So I'm going to also go back I'm going to click on the upper left hand corner where it says back. And what I want to do now is take some of the pictures that I have already on my portfolio and I want to drag them into the pictures folder. So here's a snowman JPEG. I'm just going to click on it and I'm just going to pull it over and notice when I start to drag it in there that the folder opens. You can see that it's open right there. All right, and I let go, and then that picture is now in there. If I double click on my pictures folder, there it is. Now, if I wanted to add more pictures to this, I'm going to click on Add Files. I'm going to browse to my pictures. Okay. If I wanted to add some items to it, I can select it and click Open, and then it shows up there. Now let's talk about some of the items at the top of the portfolio screen here. We haven't talked about that much yet. The home button is just that. When you click on the home button it'll take you to your chosen layout and mine is the basic grid. Okay, The next one over is a list view. Now what I want to point out is as you change items within the list view it will change them on your home screen. So let's look at this. Right here I have a room request form, a Word document, and that's in the upper left hand corner. When I click on list view, you can see that that is the first one listed. So if I were to move these around, if I wanted to arrange them by the date modified, I click on the date modified column and it'll put the last time they were modified. That item was modified October 21st. Now that one's at the top, the pictures folder. So now when I go click on my home button, guess what's in my upper left hand corner? Okay. So as you change things on your list view, it will change them on your home screen. All right, the next button over is a button that allows you to preview the selected file. Now notice that you'll have to click on something. Now if I click on a folder, it will not let you preview the folder. See how it's grayed out now? If I want to see or preview what's inside that folder, I would have to double click on the folder. It's still grayed out, so I'd have to single click on the snowman JPEG, and now I can preview the selected file. I can look at it. I like the features here. If I want to zoom in, I can do that. If I want to use the hand here, I can, I can move around this picture, especially as I zoom in farther and farther. I can rotate the selected item, or I can actually open it. The next item is self-explanatory. It simply opens the welcome page in case you wanted to view it to see what it looks like. 
So there's my welcome page. The next button over is saving. When you are ready to save, you can save it. You can change the name by choosing Save Portfolio As. Or you can just save a file from the portfolio. Next, if you want to print, you have the option of printing some or all of the files in this portfolio. All right, the next one over. Share this portfolio with others. You can share it on acrobat.com or email it to the person that needs to view it. And also you can see here, if you need to change your portfolio, there's a modify button here and it gives you many choices of what it is that you need to do.